Hi y'all folks, this is Max from East uh, I did it again. Hi y'all folks, this is Max from 1xroot.com. So I've got uh another ROM review for actually this is my first ROM review. This is the uh CM9 Cyanogen Mod 9 um for ACC 1X. Um this was developed by um Madako user Trip and Raver. Uh pretty awesome stuff. He was able to get most of the stuff working. Um, cameras working. Um, I guess the only thing that's not working is a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, um, but that shouldn't be a big problem. You can use Android Wi-Fi Tether to get it working. Um, but let me show you the camera first. So the camera, you you get the uh, Android uh, what you, Android camera here, so you lose the continuous um, camera feature. But it's not a huge deal. You can still take photos really fast. Um, let's see here. Turn up the volume. So kind of like makes turns your HTC One X into a uh, Galaxy Nexus camera, uh -huh. which isn't a too bad thing. But you know, at least it's working. Um, this should give you like much better battery life over since um, because uh, CM9s, you know, they're known for their battery life and performance. Um, so let me show you the settings here for the One X here. I'll zoom in there. Uh, about phone 4.0.4. .4. Um, so it has absolutely zero sense. It's based on the IMM 76D. Uh, which is the latest Android 4.0.4 .4. as of this video and performance um, you can't you can't really change much um, it's at the stock 1.5 gigahertz um, on, on demand um, so later we should be able to overclock it like crazy um, but you get the standard uh, um, this is all standard CM9 stuff so I'm not going to get too much into it uh, but for those of you who want a pure Google experience, Google ICS Android 4.0.4 experience. This is certainly a great way to go. Um, you do lose the continuous uh, photo feature. Um, but other than that, you also get DSP Manager, which is awesome. I love this. Um, you can change the equalizer. This works really well for um, if you're using like a portable speaker, and sometimes the equalization is off, and you can just adjust it real quick. Um, and especially your earbuds, you can enable bass because I'm a bass bass head. Um, you know, so it's great for audio files or audio feels or those people <laughs> that listen to music. Wait, that's me. Um, so you get the, all the standard stuff. Installation of this ROM is very easy to do. Um, simply install the ROM file and the Google Apps. I had a video on it. I'll point you to the video. Um, in my blog post, uh, if you don't know how to install ROMs on the HTC One uh, X, uh, but it's it's working pretty good. And uh, you know what? I might just um, try it out for a couple days, see how the battery life is. Uh, but it again, it should be pretty good. Um, when you first install it, you will want to wait a little bit. It took a little bit uh, before it picked up HSDPA, but once it picked up it was good to go. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi real quick to show you that um, it's working. But it's a flawless, uh, it's a very flawless, oh you know what? But that button is different. Um, I think you can re remap it. Okay, so you lose, you, you can hold down the, yeah, you can hold down the uh, home button to get the things instead. Um, but this is initial uh, version, is a ported version, so we should see a bunch of more cool stuff coming with it. Um, see how it takes a while? I mean, it's still a develop. It, it will, it will kind of flicker on and off until it takes. Just give it a minute, and it will connect to HSPA and 3G fine. Um, but just a, just a little issue. But completely usable as a daily driver. Um, you know, if you're really into CM9, Cyanogen Mod 9 ROMs, or if you want pure Google experience, um, definitely try out this ROM, and I'll have updates. Um, probably the developer of this ROM pro will probably put the continuous um, shooting mode back on here. Um, that would be really cool. That would make it super flawless. And again, the signal issues, 
Um, it takes a while to actually pick up signal. It will pick up signal, um, just it takes a little bit. So, you get the full uh, CN9 experience. Um, while that's going on, uh, let me just um, tell you, if you have a uh, 1X a series phone, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, 1xroot.com. Um, I will try to update you once or twice a week with round, round of the week uh, tips, hacks, and more. Yeah, um, I don't share your email with anyone else. Um, and if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me. And subscribe button up here. That helps me a lot. If you have, thanks a lot. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Google+, or Facebook. Um, see, I'm just I'm just kind of waiting for that thing to pick up. But it, it did pick up eventually. Um, you just have to give it a little bit. And once it picks up, it, it should be fine. Oh, let's run Quadrant while that's going on. That'll be kind of cool. So this is at just default um, governor on demand. Um, we should see actually an increase in performance with CM9. Um, just at least a slight amount. What was the, I think uh, quadrant scores for the sense version is, um, what was it? It was like 40, yeah, it's, it's around just below 5,000, I think, yeah, for this phone. So let's see if the, uh, with the CM9, we can go above 5,000 here. So the issue, the mobile data, it does take a lot of time to connect, but once it connects, it will be fine. Um... It says that when it's connected, uh, it's stable, it will not disconnect. Yeah, so you just gotta wait till it connects once and then it'll be fine. Oh god, network failed. It's... All right. Um, you know what? Let me just turn on the Wi Fi here. Once it connects, it's fine. Um, just getting that it to connect once is kind of a trip here. But again, this is this is an alpha um, beta version, um, so it's not for everybody. Let me just turn on the Wi-Fi again. Just I just want to show you the quadrant scores. All right, it's gonna go on here. So this one does have a hardware video decoder, hardware acceleration, uh, which both just mean you can use Netflix. Um, you can get all the video stuff working fine, which is a big deal. Um, there's also Bluetooth tethering, Bluetooth GPS working, um, microphone working. Everything is working again, just just the mobile data is kind of iffy um, just to get it connected. But once it connects, it works fine, just the first time. Um, so, let's see what numbers we get here. And if you don't want a Galaxy Nexus experience, uh, my favorite ROM right now is the Android Revolution HD, uh, which kind of just takes some of the bloatware out, makes your phone faster, uh, better battery life. Um, I'll have a review of that shortly. I'm just waiting for the developer to upload the version 5. 3870? That's not right. <laughs> Alright, well, this is a developer developer's version, so I wouldn't really recommend right now um, actually using it as a daily driver, but um, if you want to just try it out, um, just make a backup in uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. You have nothing to, um, yes, Clockwork Mod Recovery, make a backup of your ROM, then you can always restore um, to your current ROM. Just test it out, you know. But it looks pretty solid. Again, just, you know, I'm just going to wait till the um, these bugs will be fixed eventually. Um, it's just the beginning of it so but it looks pretty darn solid for for um cm9 it's working pretty awesome um pretty love it anyway anyway thanks you guys for watching my uh humble youtube channel here and stay high on android folks and i've got more great videos um coming this week and i didn't forget you about evo folks there um i'm gonna have actually the routing for Evo 4G 2.18 coming soon, uh, probably tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do it all day because it's gonna take me a whole day to make that video. That's why I've just been putting it off. But hope you know why I've been waiting. Anyway, see you guys later. Stay high on Android and see y'all later.
don't be a hater.